Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love spread for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a cross watcher, some of these messages could actually be for you as well. So, let's go ahead and jump in. What's going on with my Virgos? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor's uh, dogs outside barking. They're being obnoxious right now. What's going on with Virgo? Oops. So I see um, some healing going on. Okay, from the past. So, okay, what I'm, what I'm getting, sorry, is that um, you guys are trying to heal from a past situation, but um, have are starting to have feelings for somebody here, and you're having a hard time opening up to this person because of fear that this person's going to hurt you because of some stuff that you've been through in the past. Okay. But let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what else is coming out for you. What other messages do you have? For Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on for my Virgos? I hope you guys are all doing well. All right. Yeah, some of you are, are definitely trying to move on from some past pain here. Um, you're turning your back to a situation. This person that hurt you in the past. What happened between you and this person? Could be a, a Pisces. Okay, so I do see something new coming in for you. Um a new beginning in love here, you having choices, but you still feel kind of stuck to this energy from the past, this person from the past, stuck to the pain, um, some healing that needs to take place before you take this new, before you dive into this new connection, this new beginning here. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Um, you definitely made a, a choice to move on from this or you're thinking about it um, what steps you need to take to move on from this disappointment because you don't want to carry it around anymore obviously who would want to right? but you're really trying to think about how to release this how to release this energy what's in the near future Ten of Cups in your near future. So, um, feeling, having an emotional fulfillment um, with this person, I feel like this is a new beginning in love for you, a new person. If they haven't came in yet or you haven't um, connected with somebody new yet, you will um, very soon. Could be with a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. There will be a lot of passion between you and this person. Um, or this uh, King of Wands actually is going to be this, could be this person you're leaving in the past. Could be Leo Sag Aries. You're not taking action towards this person anymore. Yeah, there's an ending between you and this person. 
Okay, what about the new person? What can you tell me about the new person for Virgo? Who's this new person coming in? I feel like this person is going to be very stable. Very grounded, like you. This could be someone you've known for a while. You guys could have been friends. New person for Virgo. Yeah. I'm picking up a heavy friendship energy. You could have been friends with this person for a while. What are your fears? Fears for Virgo. Fears. What are your fears? Ooh, two of Cups. So this is a very strong connection between you and this person. I feel like you're a little bit fearful of that. Probably because of things that have happened to you in the past. How does this person view you? Conflicted. Heartbroken here. Yeah, feeling a little heartbroken. Not a little, a lot. Feeling heartbroken. But they see you also as very stable, grounded, um, able to stand on your own two feet, take care of yourself, handle business here. What are your hopes? You're hoping for... for um, Okay, so you're hoping for this healing. You're hoping for this change because you don't want to put with this difficult person from the past because you don't want to put work into that anymore. You don't want to be a part of a third-party situation as well as what I'm getting. You're wanting to get out of that energy. What's in the outcome? What is in the outcome? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and your near future is Ten of Cups, and your outcome is Ten of Pentacles. So you are going to um, wrap up the cycle with this person from the past, and um, you're going to end up being in a very committed relationship with this new person that's coming in for you. Okay. What else for Virgo? clarify some of these cards Let's clarify some of these wow ten of cups so um you have some really good stuff coming in you have a soulmate coming in soulmate connection um Long-term commitment. Once you wrap up this cycle with this past person, heal this energy. Heal yourself. And if you allow yourself to open up to this new person, um, it looks very promising. What is this Ten of Pentacles? The lovers. You will have a choice to make here, but this is a very strong connection that's coming in. Yeah, you're going to have to choose to... Um, uh, Cancer Pisces could be involved. Cancer heavily. Yeah, but you're going to have to make a decision to um, a choice to either move on from this disappointment from the past or um, go towards this new commitment. Which looks very promising, but let's see. What is this Two of Cups you're fearing? What is this Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands? So you fear this <laughs> commitment, this connection, this passion, this new beginning. You fear this. Why do you fear this? This is with the new person. Why are you fearing this? Wow. Again. Okay, so with the two of cups. So you fear that this won't work out. You fear investing time, energy, 
resources into this um, will be a burden for you and essentially a waste of time because of things that have happened in the past. That's what I'm getting. All right. Um, what are you hoping for? Why is the tower in judgment here? Some of you are hoping that somebody will fight for this connection. Could be going with a Leo, Libra. Somebody's hoping that the other person will fight for this connection. Also hoping to release a burden here, this heartbreak. So healing and um, moving past this, not holding on to this any longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about all the time and energy you put into something from the past that didn't work out. And, okay, so you, there is some type of choice that you're needing to make, but I feel like you're keeping that to yourself or keeping it to yourself, the fact that you're at a crossroads right now trying to figure out what direction to go into, you're keeping that to yourself. Okay, so, but you have this commitment coming in if you want it. It looks very promising, emotionally fulfilling, but I feel like you guys are scared of this right now. You guys are scared of it. Or if this is not you, this could be them. Okay. So those are the messages I have for you. I hope this resonated and helped give you some type of clarity. Um, if you resonate with me, please subscribe, like, um, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys soon.